Welcome to Ignite Karaoke here at DevOps Days, Kansas City. Let's figure out what is next in your world. For example, what would happen <laughs> if your AV had an issue? What I want to do is I want to talk about how AV is an unsolved issue in this world. I think it is in fact something that we haven't yet mastered, especially us in DevOps. And I would really like to see it, it, it get some, some money from the DOD as a grand challenge or anything else like that. Um, I think it's very important to be able to sync your laptop to your projector um, <laughs> because you'll find that once you've done that, you should be able to get like an awesome set of slides that I have never seen before, but I'm looking forward to them. Um, this was my time when we were visiting um, Kansas City and it was a little dark out. Um, <laughs> I just, I just wanna show you that, that I have actually, you know, had the opportunity to see a little bit of your fair land. It's a little hard to see, but if you can, you know, I spent a lot of time feeling random livestock. Um, <laughs> to get a sense of what was, what was going on. So, but it's okay, because I'm certain that once the in, no signal, out, the 720p60 thing is over. This is actually the speed at which we're going, and I'm attempting to, to cop time. Now, do I keep on going for longer than five minutes? Is, this a, is it just sad? I tell you, do you want me to hold the laptop up and just like show it? I don't know, maybe someone can just yell out an idea and they can just, you can rant on that. You just want me to riff? Oh yeah, let's see if you can do this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to talk about why DevOps is like raising kids. Um, I have a 10-year-old, his name is Elijah, he's a phenomenal child, but I would like to talk a little bit about why I think um, it can be tricky to do either or both of them. I'm going to riff on this, I've never, I, I thought of this like 10 seconds ago, so let's see where we go with this. So one of the things I think is reasonable to, to hear about um, is, is that the workload when it comes to kids is fairly unpredictable. Anybody can walk into your office and give you anything, just like your kid can say, oh dad, did I mention I need 200 cupcakes by tomorrow? Um, for the thing, and this really does happen. Oh, I feel, I feel it's coming, it's coming. If you truly believe, come on, it's like Tinkerbell, if you truly believe, we can get something on the screen. And it's not. Um, anyway, so let's go back to, let's go back to the, this analogy that I just made up. This is, watch out for the grid bugs, that's all I suggest. Okay, does anybody know where that reference is from? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. I'm starting over. Hello, my name is David Blank Edelman, and I've never seen these slides before, but I'm certainly willing to talk about them. <laughs> now, you might wonder, what's next? I've seen this slide before. <laughs> that is the only hint I've got. I don't actually know what's next, and um, I think we're about to find out, and we can go back to the kids thing later. We might actually do it during this talk, for all I know. Okay, so, here is a picture of my very first server, and that's where the connection is. So I had this server, its name was Freddy, um, and Freddy was a Sun Microsystems actually tower that looked a lot like this, and I miss it, I miss it so, it was back in the day. Because Freddy was talked to, talk to this cloud, this cloud is called the internet. I think it's gonna be really big because there are clients that will want to use it, eventually. I think. And so once you hook it up using actually a connector to look a lot like that, you get a really big piece of weather. Um, <laughs> now this is, this is actually not weather, this is actually a cotton ball. And so the thing that you need to understand about this is that the internet is one big cotton ball. Um, it's a big fluffy thing, it has ears, and it's really one big cotton ball that the people that care about this is DevOps. Or <laughs> the DevOps really like this, um, sorry, the accent's bad. Um, but it actually splits into two things. And the nice thing is that DevOps is this little piece in the middle with the VO, um, where unicorns live and frolic like happy bunnies through a meadow. If you were just to be a unicorn like this, especially a rainbow unicorn, because you know, love is magic and brotherhood is magic and all this other stuff, I'm not really a bromie, but I could be. And more weather, I just want you to know, let's go back to the weather. Somehow in Kansas City, one of the things you're really interested in is the opportunity to think about precipitation. So if in fact, it does in fact snow or rain in your internet, um, DevOps can help you with that. And that's really what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> this of course is what happens when you don't listen to the DevOps. <laughs> so this is a time when I was actually um, just minding my own business doing my DevOps, and there was some produce. 
And the thing to realize about Protus is that Protus is highly sensitive to changes in weather, especially weather associated with the cloud. Right? I'm going to pull this all together. Really, I am. <laughs> in just no time at all. So once you've configured your Apple, you can move on to a much more complex infrastructure. Now, this is an infrastructure where somehow walls can, can catch on fire. I have no idea how pieces of brick catch on fire, but let's just assume that someday you have that, which is what you really want in your data center. And here they are. Here are my kids. <laughs> they are the ones who helped me put out the fires. Um, and they're going to burst into song any moment. And so what I'm going to try to do is try to just, let's just listen carefully to them. Slack. <laughs> just slack. Slack some more. Slack. Sometimes you could just slack. Slack. Wouldn't it be great if all talks were like this? Okay, so somebody's really got fruit on the brain. Um, so, okay, so that was just a talk about bananas, because sometimes bananas are a lot like chat ops. Um, and I don't know if you've actually done that, because you, if you hold a banana up to your head like this, you'll find that you should be able to communicate with um, this awesome script, which is from Hyperbole, Hyperbole and Me, if you've never seen this. But all the things, Slack all the things, banana all the things, internet all the things, um, and just really all the things. All the things, all the things. That was so very meta. This is what happens when you have holes in your wall um, that you can open and close, um, and then they let weather in. I'm going to keep this all together. I really am. Watch me. Okay? So this is what happens when you have multicolored windows. And it will be awesome because the person that's there, this is, by the way, this was just a, a little, this is the, I want to thank our sponsors. Um, <laughs> very much for their time here at this sort of stuff. We'll show you other pictures of our sponsors later. Um, this is actually one of the people at the booth. Um, and the thing that's awesome is eventually, if you do your job really well, you become serverless. Um, what that means is you have fewer servers and fewer servers until eventually it just fades. Um, this is, in fact, a lovely webinar. I recommend you watch. It's over very quickly because there are no servers. Um, this is what happens when you've had a really bad day and you can't actually remember what you do for a living and so you walk around attempting to plug uh, your weather into your network. <laughs> and I want to tell you from personal experience that that doesn't work so hot. Um, because when the steam whistle blows at 5 o'clock and it's time to leave and you're still sitting there going poke, poke, poke at the cloud with your little network cable, um, that's when you know it's really time to go home, he says. And this is you going home. Now, you might notice that only white men run fast. <laughs> um, because really, that's, that's the way we portray things in tech. Um, so, so the fast white men are there. And what the other pixelated people are doing, I don't know. And that seems to be either the end or the thing has, has, has broken again. So with that, <laughs> thank you very much.